Welcome to our dual enrollment and early college celebration. This is my favorite event of the year. My name is Nuri Chandler-Smith and I'm the Dean of Academic Support and College Pathway Programs here at Bunker Hill Community College. And if you have been to this event before, you have heard me say before that this is my favorite event. And it's my favorite event because we get to celebrate all of you who are sitting here today and the extraordinary achievements that you have undertaken all year in completing your college courses. So first and foremost, give yourselves a round of applause. Where are all the graduating seniors? I know there's some of you here. Stand up for just a moment, please, if you would and everybody give them a round of applause. Where are all the parents and guardians who have supported our students to get to this very day? Can you stand up? I know there's some parents and guardians in the house. Thank you so much. Where are all of our high school administrators and guidance counselors and teachers and staff? Please stand up. Yes, we have some who are very enthusiastic about their work. Thank you all for everything that you have done to support our students. I am not here to talk to you for a long time because this event really is about you and your tremendous achievements. So I'm gonna turn the mic over to my colleague, Steve Prudent, who is going to make a few remarks and thanks for the many, many people who've contributed to our program and to its great success. But I just want to leave by saying thank you to all of you who have contributed to this program, whether it be students, faculty, staff, administrators, because all of you have collectively created this wonderful experience and have supported our students. And I have to say that you all in this room, you students, are the reason that we do this work. You all are incredibly inspiring and are the reason why we get up early in the morning and stay late into the night to do what we do. And so I am going to remember all of your faces throughout the rest of this next academic year as it is the fuel for the work that I do. So thank you for all of your hard work and your determination in getting to the end of another academic year. Thank you. So Nuri always brings a lot of energy, so I kind of have to counterbalance that a little bit. So I won't be as hype and cool as her, but you know, who is, right? Everybody doing okay today? Can everybody hear me? Very good. So uh, as Nuri said, my name is Steve Prudent. I'm the Director of High School Partnerships and Pathways. So the number of you students, all of you students are involved in either our dual enrollment or our early college programs. Uh, to start off the program, I actually wanted to uh, thank a number of individuals. Um, so bear with me as I do so. I want to uh, recognize a number of our college officials who continue to support this program. Uh, our president, uh, Pam Edinger. Our provost, Caniff, Andreadis, and Murillo. Our vice presidents, Pitcher and Ginsburg. Our academic deans and uh, student support deans. I apologize, I can't go through all of you guys. You guys are awesome, but too many names. Uh, our directors of admissions, LifeMap, Student Central, Math Space, Disability Support Services, Tutoring Center, uh, Institutional Effectiveness, and many others. If I missed you, I apologize. Most importantly, uh, I also want to recognize our team of support staff and administrative assistants who keep all of those individuals who I uh, mentioned earlier sane. Um, outside of the college, I'd like to also thank the, the Richard and Susan Smith Foundation for their generous financial support uh, to help us continue the early college work that we're working towards. But enough about them. Let's talk a little bit about the p important people in this room. To the students, on behalf of my staff and the countless others within this community, I'd like to humbly thank you. Thank you for selecting our community to begin uh, taking charge of your future. You all bring very unique talents and experiences that would enhance any other college, but you made the informed choice of Bunker Hill. For many of you, this may be the end of your journey with the college, but do know this, that this is your house. The door is always open and the front light is on. Come home anytime. 
For those of you who are continuing on with us, we remain ready to serve you. Our community is your community, but the community is only as strong as you make it. To strengthen your community, you must take ownership of it. Tell others about your positive experiences at the college. If you can, participate in activities beyond taking coursework. Take advantage of every possible opportunity in front of you. Most importantly, advocate for yourselves and others. The person you want to be tomorrow should be the person that you strive to be today. To our high school partners, we thank you for your continued collaboration and support. As a community of teachers, counselors, and administrators, we all share the same hopes, aspirations, and dreams for our students. It is not always easy, but we must continue to find and strengthen a collective voice that remains rooted in the mission of supporting our students. Our collective voice should be a change agent for not only individual cohorts, but that of future students and others outside of our immediate reach. The voice of this community of learners can and will leave a legacy far stronger than the walls of our individual institutions. Lastly, to the parents, guardians, and, our, and families, you're perhaps the most important collection of individuals in this room. You are all the original teachers, counselors, and administrators, and you do it all for free. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for the work, uh, both seen and unseen, that you've put in on a daily basis for your students. As a parent myself, I now understand the labor and sacrifice that you make for those under your care. Do know that this is also your community, and as such, you too are welcomed with open arms. I'm certain that we will continue to develop and grow our relationship for the betterment of our students. I'd like to also take the time to thank my staff members, uh, Gretchen Leahy, which many of you uh, are, are, are from very familiar with, uh, Chanel Kip Williams, uh, Sophie Joseph Laurel, uh, and Anka Kumar. I'd also like to have a special thank you to our uh, other teammate, Maureen Kavinsky, who, do, who oversees our gateway program through Everett High School. Lastly, and I do know that she doesn't like the, the, uh, the spotlight on her. Maybe she should sit right there. I'd also like to thank Dean Nuri Chandler Smith. Her silence um, says a lot, and by that I mean she does she does her work quietly. Um, she doesn't look for the attention, but she focuses 100. Uh, I'm sorry, a thousand percent on what's important, and it's the students. So looking up at what she does, you know, following her leadership and a lot of the the the, the ways that she moves about in, in uh, this community and beyond, and I usually like to say she moves in silence, gangsters move in silence. Um, it, it's very inspirational for myself and many of us on our staff, so Nuri, really, really appreciate everything you do. You're an asset to Bunker Hill and beyond. Um, I won't take too much of your time. Um, you guys have a great time. Congratulations with everything, and just continue to know that we're here to support you in every way possible. Thank you. I'm gonna bring up, uh, Gretchen, she's going to keep us moving. What's up, Gretchen? Thank you. Um, good evening. So every year we like to hear from a few of the students who have been involved in the program and about their experience. So first up, we have Fritza from Malden High School. Hi everyone, I simply just wanted to say thank you uh, Ms. Leahy and Bunker Hill for allowing me to have a great platform to speak with you all. I'm truly honored to be here tonight. My name is Fritza Judy, I am a senior at Malden High School and I wanted to share one of my favorite quotes um, by Mae Jemsen with you all. The biggest challenge we all face is to learn about ourselves and to understand our strengths and weaknesses. We need to utilize our strengths but not so much that we don't work on our weaknesses. When I was a sophomore at Malden High School, one of my closest friends took biology for the Bunker Hill Dune Enrollment Program and told me how amazing the program is and how I should sign up. Initially, when I was thinking about it, I felt like truly I wasn't capable or quite ready to make that next challenge at the time. I was afraid that I would fail and not succeed. However, with lots of consideration, talking to my mom and my family, 
I took her up on that offer, and years later, looking back on the decision, I would say that um, this program was one of the best decisions that I took at Malden High School. Now as a senior, I took two Bunker Hill dual enrollment classes in one semester. I remember when I came into child psychology this year, uh, we played this game called Icebreakers, and one of the questions that the professor asked us was our, our grade. When I told the class um, I was a senior in Malden High School, um, they were completely shocked. I was one of the first high school students in my professor's class. That day, I was so happy to think about the individual progress that I made. Additionally, this program offers so, um, numerous benefits. Getting a taste of the college experience, being able to improve your GPA, and transfer those credits for college is truly amazing, and it is also free. Um, I've learned to take full advantage of my surroundings and opportunities, and I've even, become, even became friends with a lot of college students in the classes that I took, and I'm still in contact with them today. Overall, I've taken four Bunker Hill um, college classes in the past two years. I took psychology, sociology, um, allied health, and child psychology as well. Um, in the fall, I'll be attending um, UMass Lowell for their nursing program. And I'll be able to transfer three out of four of the college credits that I took um, throughout my two years at Bunker Hill. And lastly, I'm truly thankful and blessed to have this opportunity. And as an, an advice to you all, I hope you guys continue to take full advantage of this great program and use it to the best of your ability moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, Fritza. Next up, we have Rose from Madison Park Vocational Technical High School in Boston. I think she's trying to kill time. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, my name is Rose Dina. I go to Madison Park. Um, I didn't prepare anything, so bear with me. Um, the first thing I wanna say is I love to learn. And I started dual enrollment classes at the age of 15, my sophomore year of high school. Um, all my teachers, they tell me that I'm intelligent and smart and I'm not challenging myself. So when the opportunity came to take college classes, I went for it. And my time at Bunker Hill has been amazing. You know, the professors I had um, were really supportive and they saw, you know, like, they saw that I was different because, you know, when they have the icebreakers and they ask you, oh, where are you from? and they saw that I was a high school student and they were shocked. Um, throughout my time here, I was able to gain over 30 credits. And because of this program and all the hard work that I, that I achieved, I'll be attending Curry College with a full scholarship to nursing. And I'm really grateful. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you, Rosina. She was really nervous, so I'm very proud of you, and I'm really happy that you mentioned your full scholarship to Curry. Um, congratulations. And lastly, we, all, we have another Malden High School student, um, Felix. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Felix Lee, and I'm a senior at Malden High School. I want to first thank Bunker Hill, uh, Ms. O'Connor, and Ms. Leahy for letting me come here today and share my experiences about Bunker Hill dual enrollment and the impact that it has had on my life. A chubby boy with chuckmuck-like cheeks was born into the hands of a housekeeper and a restaurant worker. The two lovebirds had already had their first child, and this was their second. Having traveled thousands of miles from their home in China, they settled into whatever they could afford, a small apartment that anyone else would have called a closet a few stories above Chinatown in Boston. In a land that spoke a tongue they could barely utter a word in, they sought refuge in the comforts of Chinatown. They made it home. Determined to provide their children with an education that they didn't have the luxury to have, 
They worked tireless and endless hours taking on jobs that no one else would. And that family had the opportunity to move to a city nearby where their children received an education. That family is mine. For many people in the world and in my high school, that is the reality of, of what families have gone through. I used to take my education for granted, but looking back at what my parents have done and sacrificed for my brother and I, I no longer look at my education the same. And I owe that to my parents and to Bunker Hill and to my high school. I was first introduced to Bunker Hill dual enrollment classes my sophomore year of high school. I leaped at the opportunity to take classes beyond what was offered at my high school, and that was a blessing. Looking at the Bunker Hill course catalog gave me limitless options to tackle on any subject that I wanted. So my sophomore year, I took psychology and calculus one, and I knew I found a love and a home at Bunker Hill. My junior year, I took Mr. Mark's class in data structures and algorithms that ran twice a week from five to nine. Not exactly sure why I did that to myself, but I learned a great deal from it. The amazing faculty at Bunker Hill has given me the resources to ask questions outside of the classroom. One of my favorite classes was philosophy and I found myself having existential crisis every time that our class met and that class alone prod into parts of my behavior and my morals that I never thought to question. My obsession with mathematics bled into the Bunker Hill curriculum having finished calculus my junior year. So I decided to challenge myself and take linear algebra my senior year. Bunker Hill classes has given me the autonomy to take on subjects and courses that I was interested in but wasn't offered at my high school. Bunker Hill has taught me to be a strong, curious, and dedicated student. And I know that I speak for myself, for my classmates, and for past and future students, that Bunker Hill has truly given students the opportunity to learn and grow. The classes that I've taken had definitely prepared me for college next year. And I'm lucky and privileged to say that I'll be attending MIT, where I'll be studying computer science and environmental science. So in the wise words of Malcolm X, education is a passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Thank you. Can we just keep that going a little bit? It's really hard to get up and speak in front of people. Great job, all of you. We appreciate hearing from you. Um, next up, we have Sophie, who will be presenting some special awards. Good evening. At this moment, we're going to acknowledge students who have completed over 20 credits of college courses. They have all kept a minimum grade point average of 3.0. And because of their huge effort, dedication, and perseverance throughout their last years of high school, today, let us acknowledge these seniors for their outstanding academic achievements. Please applaud each senior as they come forward to receive a certificate. Annie Yu from Malden High School. Annie Yu completed 42 credits. Kayla Dos Reyes Souza from Malden High. Daniel Augustin from Malden High, 30 credits. Fatuma Hussein, Madison Park Technical High School, 28 credits. Let's keep it going for them. Thank you. Rose Dina Blanc from Madison Park Technical High School, 28 credits. Well, I believe it's 30. 30 credits. Asifa Kaiba 
Malden High School, 27 credits. <laughs> Felix Lee, Malden High, 26 credits. Novia Lee from Malden High, 22 credits. Manon Baha from Pioneer Charter School of Science, 21 credits. Last but not least, Kelly Zhu from Malden High School, 21 credits. Let's give it up for all those seniors. Next up, I'm gonna pass the mic to Chanel, who's gonna present some more awards. Thank you. Certificate. Hello, and thank you again for coming to our 2019 recognition celebration. My name is Chanel Kit Williams, and I'll be presenting the Compelling Story Award. Many of the students in our program face obstacles and challenges in their lives outside of the classroom. We've asked high school counselors to tell us about students who have overcome adversity and exemplify the traits of resilience and determination while attending high school and taking college classes. This year, we are honoring five students who, between them, have battled illness, which caused them to withdraw from previous semester's classes, but bounced back emigrated from El Salvador three years ago and are maintaining a 4.0 GPA, work full-time and go to school full-time to support themselves, have stepped up to be caretakers for a sick mother and younger brother, and much more. Please join me in congratulating them. Vitor Athade from Gateway to College, Everett High School. He's probably definitely working. Um, Manuel de Jesus Hernandez from Chelsea High School. <laughs> Elcilia Mejia from Malden High School. <laughs> Jose Moreno de los Santos from the Cambridge Ringen Latin School. <laughs> and Shawnee Stanley from Gateway to College, Everett High School. So, as you've seen around the room, we have a photo booth, we have a pop socket creation station, that's not the official name, but that's what you can do there. Um, the ice cream bar situation is already open. We're looking for feedback from you all and your experiences. We wanna know where the graduates are going um, in the fall. And we will also have um, some folks taking videos of you for, and your experience through the program. If you so choose, they'll be set up probably right outside that door. Um, we welcome you to stay, celebrate, the music will come back on, and again, thank you for coming. We're good.